Well, so apparently I made the longest video I've ever made with me singing when I could hear myself. Uh, the, the goal was to sing some Amy Mann, which it turns out is quite challenging. I warmed up with a little bit of Nina Hagen. Went on to talk about um, uh, civil liberties for mentally ill people like my mother who gets herself in harrowing situations and becomes a, a danger to herself and others, not a mortal danger to others, potentially a fatal danger to herself. Um, oh, I mentioned that Mr. M referred to me as a metrosexual, a wonderful metrosexual geisha, and I wondered if that means that he has intuited that I'm 40% dude, but I talked about my girly girl side and that I love doggies with curly hair, and I talked about the $2,000 Prada purse that I certainly didn't buy, and how that came into my possession when a car thief left it in my late husband's car, and you know, 25 minutes worth of stuff, um, some nice stuff about my boyfriend, oh, yeah, that um, I was analyzing Amy Mann's lyrics and her distrust of humanity, even though there's a lot of tenderness and beautiful transcendence expressed in that album, Lost in Space, which I talked about how I bought it, didn't relate to it, what's all this moaning and, dr and droning about drug addiction, listened to it in the bathtub, loved it, love it, love it, Magnolia soundtrack, that's all her, anyway, there was 25 minutes of all that, and that got deleted, so what are you going to do? I even managed to keep beautiful artwork in the shot throughout. I sang pretty good because I could hear myself, and I managed to keep my face looking not stupid, and I talked about how I now have Coca-Cola in my hair <laughs> because reasons, and so it's gone, and um, you're just going to have to trust me. It would have been awesome. <laughs> yeah, my mom's had two major psychotic breaks uh, with like six months of just rampaging and putting herself and others in danger, followed by two months in the hospital. Oh, and I um, I made fun of the cops for not uh, taking an interest in the fact that we found um, unopened mail in the car after the car thief um, stole it and then somehow lost it. And I joked that they were like coffee and donuts, but then I mentioned that nine out of ten police officers that I've dealt with very recently because of a personal matter, which resulted in injuries and PTSD, um, things just got weird after the accident. Mm, yeah, that's the story I'm going with. Anyway, um, so I, I just very recently talked to a very nice police officer in the hallway at... Um, the courthouse, and I've had to talk to a lot of police officers in connection with that situation and with my mom's um, being a borderline personality disorder with psychotic features situation, and nine out of ten of them are notably intelligent, professional, um, sensitive to psychological and psychiatric issues, really aware of the double-edged sword of the civil liberties for mentally ill people. They don't want to take away anybody's civil liberties. But they don't like the idea that my mom's stumbling around the UC Berkeley campus at 2 a.m., psychotic out of her mind. I send her texts. She thinks it's some evil ex-therapist, not me. This was going on for six months. She sent me the most foul-mouthed reply one afternoon. I, I've never actually spoken the words out loud to anyone but eventually her, because it's just too gross, and it's embarrassing to me that anybody would say that to me, much less my own mother. Anyway... So now there's stuff that wasn't on the other one, but mostly just me trying to recap what was on my 25-minute video. Oh, so let's see if I... It was all about me trying to sing a little bit. Okay, what was the Nina Hagen? Um, yeah, we were listening to Nina Hagen in the car, me and my boyfriend and his friend-slash-employee, who's a musician. <clears throat> and I prevailed on him to not listen to Nina Hagen, New York, New York, because I don't even know what that is. Some kind of popular thing. I mean, I like popular stuff, like... Uh, I like Joy Division's uh, Love Will Tear Us Apart. I think it's a beautiful song about a troubled marriage. But um, no, for me, it's Smack Jack. That's the best song, although they're all great. You are always running out, and you are always running short. Nothing.
nothing matters anymore. All you want is go and score. He was saying that she's got a terrible accent, but it's deliberate. It's because we want her to be Central European, because that's so cool. Okay, and um, so how did I... Yeah, it turns out Amy Mann is really hard to sing. Let me see if I can get a little bit of her. I keep going round and round on the same old circuit. A wire travels underground till a vacant lot. Hard to sing. With something I can't see interrupts. Oh, it's just hard. I'll sing the part that's so emotional. This really conveys her distrust, which I relate to. But because I have interesting offbeat people in my life, I don't fully share. But I probably did when I first heard these lyrics. <clears throat> Let's see what we can do. Well, people are tricky, you can't afford to show anything risky, anything they don't know. The moment you try, well, kiss it goodbye. So, baby, kiss me like a drug, like a respirator. And let me fall into the dream of the astronaut Where I get lost in space that goes on forever And you make all the rest just an afterthought And I believe it's you who can make it better But it's not <clears throat> But it's not Definitely some phlegm and irritation. I may have strep throat. But it's not uh, No, it's not uh, So people are tricky. You can't afford to show anything risky, anything they don't know. The moment you try, kiss it goodbye. She doesn't trust you. <laughs> She's saying that if you put your heart and soul and anything a non-socially standard about yourself out there, people will think it's ugly or stupid or weird or bad. And a lot of people will. But I cultivate the people who won't. So uh, My friend Damien thinks she's a 461, and I'm a 471. And that's a big difference. My boyfriend is a seven, but with a really big six wing. <clears throat> Sixes are all about authority. They either want to bond with the authority, um, submit to the authority, or rebel against the authority. And that's why my mom has the problems that she has, because when she's anxious and not psychotic, she's scared of the authority, or of just life in general. And when she's psychotic, she wants to rebel against everyone and if you run into her in the hallway, she might push you into a wall and break your vertebra, because vertebra, because that happened. That's a thing that happened. And I had to get the hysterical phone calls about that two, three, four times a week. And that was hard. Whatever I create, it's in lieu of what I would have created without these stressors. But, you know, um, Confucius is filial piety. We can't, you know, you either have to cut them out of your life altogether or you have to love them as best you can. Uh, oh, and I did a lot of um, Live Long and Prosper, and I expressed my enthusiasm for the Kelvin Timeline, J.J. Abrams' um, Star Treks, even though he should she shouldn't have lied. That con movie was a con movie, and he shouldn't have lied. But I can't handle Ricardo Montalbán as Khan at all. I understand why my boyfriend says that he and all the other baby alpha males were like, whoa! But uh, Ricardo Montalbán's a handsome man, but not in that movie for me. Whereas Benedict Cumberbatch, yes please, and Zachary Quinto, who was um, instrumental in having Margin Call made, Margin Call didn't hold up for me, but the first time I watched it, I, I just, I sat there not being able to go, not being free to go to the bathroom because I couldn't take my eyes off it. I was completely emotionally engaged. And I think Chris Pine is sexy in a very similar way to William Shatner, who overacts so much when he's not waking up in bed with two aliens. Oh no, that's Chris Pine, who is also wonderful 
in Wonder Woman, which really you have to think about Wonder Woman and Aquaman. The more you think about them, they are the two best movies in the DCEU, uh, DC Comics Extended Universe. Um, live, li <clears throat> live long and prosper, everybody. I'm glad I got a chance to partially recreate my lost 25-minute video. Uh, someday I'll be able to monetize these, but let's just keep it pure for now. My boyfriend's really into, you know. Um, well, his his spiritual teacher said you have to get your food thing together, your sex life together, and your money life together before you can move on to the spiritual level. I started in the opposite direction. Maybe that's okay. Live long and prosper, everybody. If you if you watch these and you like them, I love you. If you watch these and you hate them because you're Chris without an H, eh, whatever. You know, it's a free country. I mean, you know, it totally hurts my feelings and it embarrasses me. But one of my friends says, um, if I've got haters, I'm doing something right. So thank you, haters. <laughs> he says that uh, the trolls are hidden fans. Are you a hidden fan? I am a not-so-hidden content creator. Bye. Live long and prosper. Bye. I love you. I love you. Bye.